the hitch guys. Hey, hey guys. what's going it's on, everybody? It's Scotch Ford. It is. Welcome to the show. Uh, I don't know how to start Welcome this to show. You, sir. Right? Yeah, right? I don't know how to start this because we've already reviewed this once and what? we had some technical difficulties, so I'm gonna, it's going to be transparent. Is that a bad everybody. thing to review it again? Uh, no. I just hope that the excitement I'm going to complain and say that I forgot to turn something on so we could hit this again. <laughs> <laughs> really? You diabolical <laughs> genius. Oh, and it works, so, right? <laughs> what is this that I'm talking about? It's um, it's a bottle that Drew and I brought back from Scotland when we visited uh, from Cadenheads. Oh, yeah, Scotland's nice. oldest independent bottler. It's almost um, as I've been. I've heard something. So 1842 <laughs> is when they uh, when they started bottling no. whiskey. And what we picked up from there was uh, this Inchgower 27-year-old. So distilled in uh, 89, 53.2% um, ABV. Something a little interesting about Cadenheads is they bottle everything at cask strength. And they do... Um, they do water some down to 46%, uh, but uh, that's as far as they'll go. So this was uh, non-chill filtered, non-artificial you know, artificial color, 53% cast strength. Um, we've got some interesting video from the store as well. So I don't. Hopefully know. it played right before this part of it. That's what oh, my goal is. Good, 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 good. So. I hope you guys got a chance to see that because it was really fun. Um, so did we... Did do they, is it already in the bottle when you get there, or do they pull, pull it out of a cask while you wait? A little both. A little both. They had some casks there that some barrels that they yeah, basically have, and you can sample. The, the cool thing about this place is you walk in, so we were talking to the guy in the interview, and you'll, I think you're seeing the beginning of this video. We're talking to this guy, and then you'll see a guy just walk in, grab a glass, and start walking over, and he's just pouring himself samples, and I think I'll try this one or whatever. Yeah, they got barrels I mean, with like, caps on them. It's like self-service there. So it's, it's like heaven. Cool. It, it, it is. is. like heaven. You walk yeah. in. So you know, I don't think I'm going to try them. Yeah, guys, it's like going to Panda Express. I'm going to try that, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 31 flavors. I'm not sure that really equates, but... I like a mint chocolate chip. Can I try it was a good experience. It was a neat experience. <laughs> it was really There's something neat. different, something we don't get to experience here. So I was super psyched to walk into that uh I call it a liquor store because that's what it, I would equate to yeah. here, right? I mean, that's what it felt like. I kind of like that, really. Yeah. Um, so just, what's in this bottle? It's historic, I guess. What's in this bottle? So it's a 27-year-old Inchgower, and it says that uh, it was wood type was bourbon hogshead. So bottled mm -hmm. in spring of 2017. And where is Inchgower Distillery? Inchgower is right in the very oh, northern part of Speyside. It's, it's almost on, it's yeah. really essentially on the coast. It, okay, so very, it is. We're close to Glen Glassaw, yeah. is that right? Right here? Yep. Just, um, just west of that. And how old was this one? 27, 27 years old. Ooh. And so what do, you, do you recall the price? That's, that's what I was question. just trying to think, and I, I don't. I really don't. I don't. It's free. I want to say 120 pounds, maybe. Ooh. He was up there. That's a 27 year old. Scotch. I, I don't mean, think I, no, bad. I don't think that's unfair either. I, I, so um, you tasted this there? Yes, we yeah, did. Yeah. Uh, they were. Uh, it's a really small little bitty space. And, well, I got the longer 18 there, too. We both sampled it. I was like, let's come home. You sample this one. That's coming home. So, yeah, yeah we didn't waste much time. So, they sure. have other stuff sure, there. Yeah. It's not just their the right. independent bottlers. It's not They just have a stuff. chalkboard, right? Yeah, right. They do. And, and like, they write on, like, daily. You can tell. It's like, like a menu chalkboard. These are what's in right now. These are hot right now. And you're like, oh, well. I'll take them. It's nuts. And I'll take them all. I sit there all day and go, well, right. let's read and let's learn. So, what's all going right. on with this? Um, smells good. Mm. Color's light. No smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it on that. Oh, it smells that, You know what? I do get just a little hint of like a salty note to it. That so, yeah. so maybe, you know, it's a little bit as it's sea in oh. You know, I, I don't I don't think that it's... I get lemony. I, I don't equate it to some of the island. No, it's not. It doesn't it's not like but, seaweed. There's just yeah. like a hint of... A little bit of pear. It's not. Uh, it's not overly oily. Yeah, I guess it is kind of oily. It's got a little bit. It's got a little bit of heat to it in the nose. Not too bad. Um, but oh, cast strength of forty, fifty-three point two percent. Yeah. Cotton pears, honey, salty. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's a nice glass, but you got to be. Uh, you got to approach it carefully. <laughs> uh -oh. You know what I mean? So where's he going with it? <laughs> no, I mean that alcohol oh, is. Some wood going on now too. It's really good, but you, you don't want to gulp this down. You this, want to savor it and enjoy it. I maybe shouldn't have poured it that much. Um, Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the 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 initial palate on this is way better than what I was getting on the nose. The nose seemed kind of tame to me. It wasn't that that interesting, but when when it rolled under your tongue, whew, it's like and a whole different scotch. 
to me, it's kind of interesting because it's a, it, it's got some heat to it, um, oh, and usually you need a little bit of smoke to calm that down. No, it's got but a little this bit has of got sweet a, to this it. This has got too. a nice, like, cloyingly sweet, not cloyingly like sweet, Jolly Rancher, a I mean, coating of, of like honey. You know, honey. and it, it kind of well protects the sun. <laughs> It is, that, and that's the thing. It's almost like a candy. It's candy sweet. The, the warm up scotch that we had was forty percent. So I mean, this is gonna numb a little bit yeah. more. Um, Werther's Originals. Yeah. Yeah. That's a butterscotch candy. That's, that's even better. That's real good. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking Jolly Ranchers, but it doesn't have that much fruit to it, and it's not that artificial. It, it's surprisingly sweeter than yeah. I thought compared it's, to the color. I, would, I didn't expect it. Um, but it's not some, overpoweringly sweet. Some oak coming in at the end. Good I need to let hey, this and air out. The nose now. Mm, that's a nice dry finish too. Yeah. Like well, I can feel that from my gums. Just it's a pretty well-rounded scotch, to be honest with you. So do we know? I'm guessing Inkshagower, uh is probably a, more of a blending scotch because I don't think I've ever really I, seen I don't know. Him anywhere. I don't. I, I can't say I've ever seen a, a bottle of Inchgower. Distilled by, you know, bottled by the distillery right. is what you're saying. I don't know. Yeah. But what, what year is this distilled in? That's so this distilled in 89. Um, I was still in high school. <laughs> I <don't> know. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> okay. Business man, in the front, uh, party in the that's back. That's right, man. Heck yeah, I was freaking I, rolling you, in. Huh? I'm not getting anything else in the nose, though, really. Oh, you know, see, I I, it's, it's softening up now that the alcohol is aerating off, off, and I can get more on, on the nose, to be honest with you. I need my... Uh, hey, check this out. What's that? It's a coin. It's a, it's a coin. A Scotch uh, Test Dummies coin. Scotch right? Test Dummies coin. We need to get a bigger Thanks, one Scott, for our glasses. Our glasses are I know. We, we, we graduated yeah, to we, bigger glasses, and now the coin doesn't work. Maybe right. that's what we should sell the big versions of them. <laughs> <laughs> I told them we needed jumbos. I need my wheelhouse. Or I need my These are big sorry. glasses. <laughs> I'll tell you what... It, this has got like a almost. I don't want to call it a candy quality to it. It does because it's not that sweet. You know what I mean? It's it's not like so like we've had some sherry bombs that you're like oh well, my god you know. So I think no, that, I so think this doesn't have that, that quality to it, no. but it's more of a coating quality. Well, than I the, think of you yeah, know the creaminess, I mean? the butteriness yep. of the Werther's. I think was, works pretty well. What's this stuff? See, uh, oh, the fabric. The whiskey what? fabric. The whiskey fabric, yeah. We, so we have it. It's in our possession for a while. For a little while. Uh, this has been to, where's this been? Well, uh, the Scotch Test Dummies has signed it. Test um, whiskey in the Six, I think, has signed has it. Has Whiskey in the Six had it yet? Yeah, Bubba the Beard. Bubba yes. and the Beard Bubba had it. So uh, all those other channels, if you guys we'll haven't, we'll check them out. Check them out. You guys, I, I feel I, like someday this will end up on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> I got, uh, you're going to laugh, I got Kippers. Kippers. Yeah, a little salty, little little bit of fish. Um, interestingly yeah. enough, I got a little bit of cloves maybe. at the end uh, on the side of my tongues, and I, I think it's the the, the the alcohol percentage more than anything. You know, burning the side of my tongue a little bit. I got a little bit of, 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 a, of a clove flavor, but I'm gonna do some. I just need some water. I'm just uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if uh, water. getting better. Oh man, that's mm, that's nice. Well, that's what I like, when I'm trying to stall. I was talking about the coin and the peppers fabric. coming I, I out, really, the cloves. Like, it's really coming out. I want to let this there. thing open up a little bit. I think it it, it deserves a mm. little more time, and and it's hard to do when you're trying to keep a 15 minute routine. You know what? So, it, it's honey. really tough with the uh, the sweeter scotches when you're putting water on it because you're you're taking away some of the alcohol, but it almost needs to sit for an extended oh, uh, period. Of right, that the sweet. air is what's going to give it the best. Yeah, I think we we can all agree that. We, we kind of butcher the timing of, well, Matt in here, butcher the timing of what we should be giving some of these scotches, but we try to be consistent. Well, and, and I think to that point, you know, most people are not letting their scotch sit for 20 minutes after they pour it. You no. know what I mean? You're not pouring it you're getting it at a bar, You're going right? to do exactly what we're doing and sitting down and drinking it. Now, you may drink it slower because it's a higher ABV, but you're, you're in the process. Well, so, and, and it goes to the point of, is, if you know Acrovite, he's got a, a really good uh, video out right now about what's it, enjoying scotch versus appreciation of scotch. That's actually a really good thought process. And what we're talking about now is appreciation. We're really wanting to go through all the steps to really let it sit if we can and go through all the things, try yeah. to nose it. Whereas, you know, if you like the scotch, oh, put it on rocks, man. drink it, whatever you like. But this is definitely the appreciation uh, version of this. I'll tell you what. 
Water helped. A couple drops really, yeah. really elevated this. I mean, I, I was enjoying it neat. I'm not. I, I, it was, it was already tracking towards a good score neat. But I put a couple drops on it, and and it's, it's, isn't that amazing how it does that? It's so much more enjoyable. Um, I, I find that this. it's you're not. I'm not loving it. I don't know what wow. it's not. I'm not. I don't know the right mix right now. No, I, I'm on it. My mind's perfect. Perfect. Well, I was Anybody ready? No, I'm not ready yet. Ah, I'll go. You go. Yeah. If I'm ready, I'm yeah. ready. So, um, right, to start off the 53%, it's every bit of that, right? I mean, some of the, yeah. when I say that, because some scotches you can get that are high it's ABVs, they're, they're, they don't taste it. They don't yeah. drink it, right? Mm -hmm. This does. It's got. The, you're going to know it's a, it's a high uh, ABV. But it's not a bad thing. You just got to be ready for that. And that first sip yeah, is definitely going to numb good. your tongue up a little bit, makes it a little bit hotter uh, as far as flavor. You know, I got a little bit of clove and some, a little bit of spices in there that I don't necessarily think are really there um, after I put the water on. Uh, nose was a little bit of, of lemony, um, definitely sweet and honey, and the, the, the palate neat was definitely that as well. It was, um, like you guys said, candy coating almost. So it was pretty sweet, especially for the color. I didn't expect it. I put the water on. Different ball game. Um, I think it smoothed out the alcohol burn on the sinus when I when I nosed it. It smells delicious mm -hmm. now. Uh, it just smells sweet and butterscotchy. Um, and then the palate, it took that that ABV burn. It took that alcohol burn right off, and and I can go straight to the flavors, which they're there. And all the flavors that were there, neat, but I don't have to fight the, the alcohol burn to get to them. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, 27 year, that's a pretty old scotch for us. I mean, that's pretty cool. I, I wish we lived closer to we could get more bottles from Caden Heads from time to time. But Heck yeah. I guess yeah. we're going to have to. I, I'm stuck between a 3 and a 3 5. And I hate to be biased because I bought them in Scotland, <laughs> right? So I think, I think I'm going to stick with the 3 and, and, and go there. And after you guys do your, you know, walk around, maybe I change my mind after another sip or two. So I'm going to say 3 plus uh, with the right to preserve the right to. <laughs> well, okay, so I'm not as enamored with this as you. So let me let me tell you why. Oh. So on the nose, so we initially poured it. The nose was light. Um, I was I was having trouble pulling anything out of the nose. I, I was looking at the flavor wheel because I I'm, I'm used to the, the stronger flavor, so I needed the the additional information here. So I'm looking. You got some hay in there. It's kind of sure. a, a a straw hay kind of nose. Um, you get a little bit more sweetness with some water on it, a little bit more butterscotch in the nose. But then I tasted it, and the, and the initial palate was the, the butterscotch um, candy. It was, it was really sweet. It was warming. Um, but then it just kind of disappeared for me. And I don't have a whole lot of additional flavor in there. I added water. It didn't help a whole lot. I think the water helped the nose more than the palate for me. And so I'm, I'm really struggling with this. I'm not getting a lot of unique flavors out of this. I'm not getting a lot of um, ch uh, transition flavors that go through it as, as a good scotch will have. Okay. It's fairly just, you know, butterscotch, a little bit of uh, straw and hay, lightness. Um, and that's about all I'm getting out of it today. That's what, that's what my palate's telling me today. So I'm going to give this a two. Right. Because yeah. it's not bad by any means. A 53% to be able to not burn your head off. They've done some some great work here, but I just don't get a richness and a creaminess and a, a complexity out of it that a, that a good one would, would get for me. I'm gonna give it fair a two. enough. That's a fair yeah. assessment. I actually um, I'm actually right there with you, brother. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, <laughs> I was there. I love the experience. <laughs> you put 27 years on anything, you gotta go. Damn, it's gotta be good, <laughs> right? But, uh, but it, uh, I mean. You've seen me probably watch watch me if you're watching. I've been digging. I'm trying. Right. And there's not anything crazy, but there's something in there that's interesting. I mentioned earlier, it's that kippery smell, whatever it is. <laughs> I, I got the hay with you as well, kind of the, 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 that hay straw you yeah. know, smell as well. But um, it's not doing a whole lot for me. It, it's it's a decent scotch. It's, it's not a bad tasting scotch by all means, but it's not like deep and complex at all. Um, it's, you know, it's got a nice... Butterscotchish, kippery, salt, briny, um, <laughs> a cotton smell to satin. A, a, a satin, maybe sure, yeah. and then and then the taste, guys. I mean, it's it's a normal scotch taste for me with a little bit of <laughs> saltiness. I mean, even you know, go to I mean, you're gonna get hit with more brine than this guy, right? So it's not even. Oh yeah. There's not a whole lot of really anything great for me to be honest with you, and I, I'm disappointed 
because I, I thought it was really good over there. I'm not sure. Maybe it's tonight or whatever, but I'm going to go two as well. I mean, ironically, I wanted no, to go better, but... I think the last time we reviewed this, we were all were higher. I think we were. were yeah, I think we, we were, were a lot higher. So I wonder what that's about. So here's what I got on this one tonight. And I finally figured it out when I was sitting here and yep. you kept talking about The salt. revelation. It was hard because I was like, you know what? It, neat, it had like a candy quality, but not like a super sweet quality. Yep. Yep. Correct. And it had a coating quality. And I was trying to think of something that I would equate that to. Saltwater taffy is what I yeah, came up with. You know what I mean? Like it's sweet, yeah. but it's not over the top sweet. Okay. And it's got that, that little bit of candy oh, my, quality man. and it's got that coating yeah. quality to it. <laughs> Uh, so I, I kind of liked the sweetness of it and the, the almost honey coating that it gave you. It, it tamed down the alcohol a little bit for me and neat, I didn't mind it at all. Um, uh, put a couple drops on it and to me it opened up a little bit more Sure. and I got some more like a, a like a candy lemon peel and, uh, so it, it had some of those citrus qualities come forward, really? I, I got that. That. but it, it didn't really tame down the alcohol as much as I thought it would. You know what I mean? The flavor profile basically stayed the same. It brought forward some of the sure. citrus, but it, the alcohol burn was still there, and I started to get some of the cinnamon and clove that you were talking right. about. Um, I'm also agreeing with Andrew that I didn't get a whole lot of transition flavors. You know, it was fairly unidimensional all the way through. Yep. Um, so I, I'm kind of waffling between a couple things. <laughs> Stick I'm, to it, man. I, I think a 2.5 is probably Stick to where it. I'm at. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, it, it's a it's a good scotch. I'm going to enjoy drinking this one. Right. But it, it didn't have those exceptional flavor transitions right. that I look for yeah. in, in like a 3 or a 3.5 or a 4. And to be so. fair, it, it probably deserves to sit here and air out for a while. It does. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a high ABV right. scotch. Yeah. And I think we might think better of it as it sits for a little bit, especially just sitting in the bottle. You know, we might leave it for a month or two and come back to it and be like, wow, I can't believe we gave it that right. long. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, we'll see. It's a 27-year-old scotch. Well, we're done. Oh, so, I ain't going anywhere. There you no. go. So, we got, so a, we got a diverse... Yeah, uh, I'm staying right where I'm at. So, so, we got a three, a two, a two, and a two, five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, all, we run the that's whole actually game. pretty pretty good, though. I mean, it's very consistent in the middle. So, I mean, yeah. nothing crazy great about it, nothing bad at all. It's just right in the middle oh, no. of no, average. The, the price of 175 bucks or so is going to be... Yeah. It wasn't 175 I don't think it's that much. It was 125 pounds? Yeah, and, and the, the ratio was... A dollar to a dollar fourteen. Yeah, it's no, probably, okay, okay. <laughs> it's probably so closer to dollar thirty. We're not yeah. talking about so one hundred and twenty. Still, yeah. but that's for a twenty-seven year. You're paying for that as well. I mean, right. a couple other things. I mean, okay. this one's kind of a little harder for us to kind of balance the price to buy ratio. But based on what we're we're tasting and smelling, it's yeah. really it's more about the experience you guys had. Uh, uh, that, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, that alone just gets it for. I'm gonna do it again in a heartbeat. I will do it again. I will put in there. Make sure you subscribe while you're here. Check Every it Thursday out. night, we are live, Facebook, all that stuff. Hey, and if you've got a Caden Heads, co post on, on a comment. We'd love to hear Yeah, we'd love to hear about your experience. Your experience about it. So, thanks for guys, watching. Cheers. 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 Thanks for watching.